Hello, good afternoon and welcome. Uh, once again, I'm Chris and this is Gross Models. And because it's Tuesday, it's, it's Nano Tuesday. Now, it's probably the last of the Nano Tuesdays because everything's sort of settling down. I, I went shopping this morning and there wasn't a queue to get into the supermarket. Everything, it's still socially distanced and everything inside. But things are sort of returning to a new sort of normal. Uh, so, as such, my streams will be closing back down again to a lower level than they are at the moment and have been for the last few weeks or months. Um, I should be returning to work next week, so obviously won't have so much time for doing these streams as well and won't be here to do them now because I'll be at work. So uh, yes, this might be the last Nano Tuesday. Now, I've got the Nano kit that I'm going to be doing that you can see there. Yes, you got it right. Look, look it's there. Um, which was a gift uh, from Lynn from my Amazon store. Thank you very much, Lynn. I know you're probably not watching now because you're at work, but you know, you'll see it eventually. So thank you very much for the kit. Um, I probably won't finish it today because it's quite big. It's got lots of bits. In it. well, it's, it's nano, so it's small, but it's big. It's got lots of parts in this kit, more than I expected when I put it onto the wish list. Um, but uh, yes, so if I don't finish it today, which is very, very likely, I will continue it at a later date, but say so not next Tuesday by the looks of things if if I'm not back at work next week for whatever reason then I will continue but it looks like I probably am so uh, let me have a quick look through the chat see who's here now live uh, Nat the dexterous craft owner is the first one in the chat saying afternoon guys uh, then uh, model making trucker uh, her other half Lewis comes in uh, sprue and glue uh, ba -ba -ba, the raging modeler uh, says he's here in another flipping room mother flipping room he says indeed the room is here for your watching pleasure and enjoyment uh eric graham is also here as is my wife Gemma. uh that's me i'm there uh jamie comes in and then we're up to oh no we're not sal just popped in saying good day chris and all he says good day chris because he's from australia and that's the one thing that i can say in australian i'm not very language languageificationed I don't do language. I only just do English, as you've noticed. So, yeah, you're lucky that I can do English. I can't do any other language. But let's have a look at the bench. I today, I switched down there, but I'm still here. Look, I'm still in the little corner piece because um, I can. But this is the the kit, if you say kit, that I'm building today. Uh, it is a Ballody uh, All Jointed Blocks Show. Now, when I said that I don't do languages... I don't do languages. I think it's amazing when other countries do English languages, but it's also very amusing that how they do it. Because, I mean, the All Jointed Blocks show is not exactly what you would intend to name your kit. Uh, it says, It's an intellectual toys, which not only could improve children's ability of practice, but also, it's a gameplay. Yeah, um, they obviously haven't been past someone that actually speaks English to get the thing translated. Uh, it improve ha improve hands force, stimulate imagination, and explore. It says C O I O R. I think it's meant to be color, but it it, it says coil or force. I don't know what that is, but there we go. Um, yes, and, and also we get that. I don't know what that means, but it's obviously like the Lego toy removal thing. So, yes, um, that's what we're going to be building. It's a dog, in case you hadn't noticed. It is difficulty three out of five, so we'll see how it goes. But, uh, yes, it's obviously mainly sort of grey and white with a little bit of pink and probably a little bit of black. But, uh, yes, let's have a look. I have opened the box, but not actually opened the box to see, you know, because I was surprised at the size of it. Look at the size of it. Um, I was surprised at the size of it and wanted to check to make sure it was actually nano blocks because I wasn't really expecting it to be anywhere near that sc scale of packaging. Ooh, there's a bit of card in there. Look. There we go. Right. So let's have a look. We have the uh, the Ballody tag, which has got I don't know, there's a couple of QR type code things on there and some words, but I don't know what the words mean. So I should just I'll just ignore that. I'll put it back in the box. Uh, we have a collection of bags, uh, conveniently not numbered in any way, shape or form. We have our tool for removing and disassembling, if need be, which is quite useful. I've, first time I've seen one of those for a nano kit. That's a removal tool, says Sprue and Glue. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, Shane is here, says, afternoon, Chris and everyone. Hope you're all well. I'm fine. Thank you very much for asking. 
Uh, right, so looking at the instruction manual, as per all of these nano type builds, or the vast majority of them that I've done, uh, it's done in layers. So you start off with the first couple of layers and then you build a bit onto there. Uh, the previous part of the build is done in a, a different neutral colour. Uh, so things like that, obviously you just got to put all those bits together. Then that bit isn't just those, you've got these bits to do as well. But then going onwards, it's basically each level, level, each layer. I'm trying to say layer and level at the same time. I don't know why my words aren't coming out as they should. I think I'm I'm not lubricated enough. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, so yes, there's there's lots to do. I must admit, it doesn't look terribly interesting. It, it's it gets interesting towards the end, and then you get the puppy dog. So I'm not expecting this to be a, a build of great interest and uh, you know excitement, but um, it, it it's, it's a build. It has to be done. It, I should keep the tray because I'll be putting the bits back somewhere. Because as I say, there's no way that I'm going to be doing all of this in one build. It's a silly number of parts. It's how many did it say it was? It's 2,100 pieces. 2,100 pieces. Um, and it stands 21 centimetres tall, 20 centimetres deep, and 12 centimetres across. So it's of a decent size. It's going to be, you know, that, what's it, that, by, that, by, you can't see that because that's just up. But, yeah, it will be a th big size model. Um, but, yeah, it's all the same colours just going in the same room. So most of this chat is just going to be you lot in chat hanging out and chatting because, you know... Lubrication of the mouth always works well, says Sprung Glue. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. So, to build this is a simple matter of following the instructions. The difficulty I'm going to have is... It's not like Lego. It's not a case of, you know, open bag one first. And then work your way through bag two. Uh, that bag appears to be mainly four bits with some two bits as well in there uh, this one appears to be some pink bits and some other larger pieces uh, that one's some medium sized pieces like the sixes and that one is again more pink bit or pink bits in there as well and there so these are big bits as well and some small bits so it's not in any particular order at all what I'm going to do is get them out on the bench and just do what I can do and carry on and go on. Uh, Mayhem is here saying afternoon all. Good afternoon. Uh, right, let me get a knife and we'll cut open all the bags. Um, that's got a four on it. Look, look, it, it says 160494. Let's see, let's just have a look because I think 16049 is the part number. Oh. Oh, wait. That says 1604941. Nine, it might not help. Because that one doesn't seem to have any numbers on it at all. That says 3, maybe. 4, 3. Yeah, I, I don't think it's... It's not going to be any particular... No, because these are bigger than the ones in there, and that's the one that's got a one on it. So, no. All right. I'll open up all the bags. I'll I'll find a big pot or box or something to keep them in in the between times. Uh, or, or, maybe, wait, I'm having a thought. I'm having a moment. Uh, I have, conveniently... Um, used to be full of Haribo Supermix, but isn't anymore. It's full of nothing now. I don't know what happened to the Haribo. They, they may have um, evaporated. But I think I may do the building from a pot. None left in there. Get rid of that. Um, I think that might be the best way of doing it. It's going to give you lots of lovely... Lego-y sounds. Let me get all of those in there a minute. 
Uh, it's not got as much surface area as building it on the bench, but there's much less chance of things falling off down the back and going everywhere. So I'm thinking, use the card tray from the box. I did think about that, but it's got big holes in it. I shall show you why I'm not going to do that in a moment. That's empty. Of course, doing that, doing this in here, makes the storage of it between builds much easier as well. Because I can just put the lid back on and be done with it. That one, and one more. Right, I might have to spread things out while I'm actually doing the building because I can't. You're not going to be able to find bits in the bottom of that when it's in the top of that. So yeah, uh, the I did consider using the tray, uh, but it's got holes in it uh, where the tray thing should fit in. And being nano, even the big bits will will get lost in there quite easily. So yeah, um, it was theory, but I'd have to seal it up and yeah it wouldn't really work very well uh, so what I shall do is use the combination of that and the bench and probably the lid in combination to do some rummaging and find the bits that I need for each bit this is going to take a while so uh, settle down get comfy um, Put some music on, grab yourself some to drink. Uh, if it's a daytime, then you can drink whatever you like because it's still sort of holiday time for another week. And yes, um, get comfy as I build the, the Ballady, whatever it is, dog 16049. I probably won't use that, but it's nice to have. Right, let's see how I can do things and arrange things. It's going to be tricky because, apart from anything else, you've got to do all the counting as well. This one, conveniently, doesn't give you the parts list as to get this, 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 and this. So, yeah, it's going to be a trickier build, but it will still be fun. Um, are they life-size? No, they're not even life-size, so you can't even do that. Well, that's the start. There you go. I've started to build with one of those. Um, it, oh, it's really tricky. You can't even... You can't only just see where there might be the end of a bit to find another bit. I'm going to have to do lots of counting. I, I don't know. Are the kids watching? I'm, I'm allowed to count. We've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's an 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, that's the same, there's a four in the middle, and that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's another eight. Okay, I got the six, so that's another six, that's no good to me. I want it bigger than that. What's that one? There you go, that's bigger, that's an eight. That's a ten, I don't need a ten yet. Thanks very much, Lynn, this is going to take weeks. <laughs> <laughs> right there we go there's two eights which go like that I still need a four to go across there and I can't find a four yet I can see lots of threes lots and lots of threes what's that there you go there's a four what I'll do is I shall go through and do a layer and then I'll have a good look at the chat and see. I'll try and glance up and keep an eye on it. Um, Scaly Models is here. Dad's here. Welcome. Uh, it's all the new name. Oh, Daniel Rigby. Mr. Beginning. What's the build? There we go. Um, it, it's that. It's a nano block type uh, kit uh, called Ballad, Ballady, uh, the manufacturer. And it's a dog that looks like that. Uh, but it's nano blocks. So they're sort of the tiny half scale Lego sort of things. Um, six and a six they go next to that there um yeah uh, this is going to take a long time the instructions aren't terribly friendly 
in that they don't give you a shout out as to what bits you need to build the next bit. Um, I was aware that it was going to be a fun build in that it's all mainly two colours. So that's going to make it trickier. Uh, that's a three there. And then a four on the other end of it. So there's a four. I've got three. I've got lots of fours of those out here. There you go. There's a three. So that goes there. With that the other side of it. And next to that are the fours, like those. There, so that's the first layer done. That's the, the basis of the dog. I think it's a schnauzer, but don't quote me. Uh, it says, nah, I have no idea, it's a dog. I, I couldn't go any further than saying it was a dog. It's definitely a dog, but I don't know what flavor. Uh, it's four, eight, so I'll need another one of those. That's those, so that's the next layer there with two of those behind it. And looking at the little arrows, they really don't help. It looks like that second one along, so this second blob there goes on that one there. So that goes like that. With that one obviously next to it the other side. Okay. And then these just run on the front from that, and it looks like that's from the front. So is that? It does. That joins up to the one at the front, like where it said it should do, probably. Okay, so there's the tricky bit. There's the first construction done. Now, already on this, something I've noticed with a lot of these nanos, they they burr, they bend, they curve. Uh, the uh, London skyline I did curved quite a lot. I don't know if it's something to do with the construction of it, but there's definitely a curving to it that isn't apparent in a single brick. Single brick looks to be fine, but when they go together, there's a certain element of curve to it. Uh, Spur and Glue says, will you be gluing it as you go? Uh, no, it's it's Lego-like stuff, so no, there's no, no need to glue it, and I don't want to glue anything that you don't have to, so no, I'll just be building it as it is. Uh, right, so continuing the build, uh, now, as I say, there's no shout out to what bits you need for each stage, so basically I've just got to have a look at it and see what I need. I need three single ones, three in a corner in that and in white, and then I'll worry about that later because I can't keep all of the pieces in my mind to to find the right bits. Uh, I'll try and get them from here, there's, there's a white, oh I didn't need a three white. Although I might do up here, but yeah, I do. So I'll, I'll keep that to one side. There's another one the same. So that's that. Right, there's there's one of those that I need for down there. And there's another one for the other side. Uh, three like that I need. And that. So right, let's get these back bits done. They go in there like that. And that one's there. So that goes there, and that goes there. That's those two bits. Still need the white bits, but I haven't found any of them yet. Uh, white bits sort of stand out a little bit more, but if it's in the bottom of this, it could be anywhere. So let's have a look. In theory, all the little bits will come to the top, won't they? That's the way things work, isn't it? Look, there's one. There's, there's one there. I can't... Ah, uh, there it is. I think I caught it. And there's another one. Look. See, it does work. Shaking works. Right, so there you go. In the front corners, like that. Okay. And then we've got this stuff to build up here. So the three... I, uh, the third one in may... I'll work from the inside out, because I can't quite count and see where all the things are. Is my right hold the brandy and a list of parts at the same time? It holds a list of parts, just not a list of all the parts. It might hold three or maybe four different parts, but not, not all of them. So, I definitely needed that. That's one of them. Maybe I could do it a little bit like that. I need another one of the white corners. Uh, that goes there. Then one of them is behind that there. So there's that with 
that and that behind it that next to that and then another one of the white quarters like that a bit like that I think is that white bit and I can't even make out what the lines are on the black bit so we'll come back to that in a minute <laughs> Uh, let me get out basically the same again, but the other side. So let me spread that out so I can see exactly what I've got. So I've got one of them, one of them. I need a three. No, yep, a three. I need a four as well, but I can't see any of those to hand. There's threes there. Lots of threes. No fours. Right. So how have you all been? Are you all doing all right? How, how's, uh, is lockdown finishing? Have you got going back to work times potential for anything? How How is everything? Have I got that right? I've got that wrong, wrong way around. Um, yes, as I say, I'm looking to be going back to work next week unless governmental advice changes during the week which is always possible but uh yeah we'll, we shall see what happens I, obviously until i know everything that's going on i can't give any definitive um information as to when streams are likely to be happening or not happening uh, building that side, so that goes like that, and then that one is around there, and then there's another one of those, like that, I think, a bit like that, for that side, around there somewhere. Until all this gets added together, it's difficult to manoeuvre everything and see exactly what's what, so I need two of those, and two of the threes. I know there's sixes, but it's easier to say three. Than that, that's that, 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 and that, right? So let's see if I can figure out where this goes. The corner of that one is on that one there, so that goes there, and then next to that was that, and that was behind that. Then that three was next to that. Yeah, right next to that. And that three was behind that, like that. So when I've done this layer, I'll be able to have a proper... Oh, I'm picking up bits from in between. Uh, I'll be able to have a proper look through the chat, see what's going on, and say hello to people that might have come in since I was last there. But because of the way this is put together, it's not easy to... jump in and out and between especially while things aren't actually joined together yet that one goes there no it doesn't it doesn't go there oh look i get to use the tool i get to use the tool to get rid of that bit let's see if it can I go from there yeah that doesn't work You know the removal tool is rubbish, it doesn't remove anything, it just bends. Let's pick it up and try it the old fashioned way with a fingernail that might also break. Uh, Nat says, Connor and Paige are both back at school tomorrow, uh, just morning only. Hopefully situations won't deteriorate again. Absolutely. Right, let's put that back down there and then figure out that was that, that was that. That was on there somewhere, wasn't it? No. I don't know where that bit was. That was there. And that was next to it. Oh, and that was there. And that was next to it. Let's not worry about this side for now, then. Let's worry about this side. So that bit went on there like that, actually. And then that went next to that there. And then... That one goes around there, which it does, yes. And that one just goes on that one in that corner. So that's that side done. So now I've just got to do the same as that to the other side. And then we'll see just what happens. 
So that was there. That was there. That's behind that bit. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. That's not right. That was further forward than that. Ah, that's where that bit came from. That bit came from there like that. That's why that bit didn't go on there, because there was a bit missing from underneath. That goes there. Then that was there, because that bit's there. With that in the corner. And that in that corner. Because that comes out of there. This way it goes behind it like that. And that goes on there. That goes around there. Yep. Because that bit is there. That bit is there. There we go. So we have got a gap in the middle there, but it's it's coming together. So we'll get rid of that because that's pretty much rubbish. Let's have a look. Uh, Mayhem is uh, right. I'm off back home. Uh, have a good trip if you're travelling, travelling, travelling home. I don't know where you are or what you're doing, but there you go. Hopefully, see you guys when I get home. I'll, I'll be here for an hour or so more, I should think. Um, Raging Water should be going back on the fourth of July, uh, but we are above one in the northwest, so that may change. Oh, what well, the R number? Yeah, is it uh, gone back up again? I, I would expect with the mass gatherings that have happened over the last weekend, yeah, things might change. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Dad says to Shane, I apologise. I missed a comment of yours on my stream regarding the Herald build. Yes, great times, mate. You read back through and read your, watch your videos again and catch the posts. I, I don't. I, once it's gone, it's gone. I've got no hope. If I don't comment to you, reply to you live on the camera, then you're probably not going to get a reply from me. Just shout at me more, or you can always email me. Uh, the email address is here. Look down there. Where's the camera? There. Uh, Chris at grossmodels.uk. You can always email me if I miss a comment or you want to contact me about anything at all. I'm, I might reply. Most likely I will reply, but yes. Uh, Connor and Paige back at school. We've done that one. Yep. All right. Okay. Right. So that was that. One and two. Now we're on three. Where, once again, there's more stuff to build down there and then put things on top of it. All right. So I'm gonna need four. I'm gonna need eight of these round, um, like grey or brown grey. Well, I think they're grey. I haven't seen any brown. I haven't seen any round ones. But we'll worry about that in a minute. There is black. Look, I've seen some black bits. Uh, yeah. So so much for the little bits coming to the surface. It doesn't seem to work anymore. Maybe the little bits go to the bottom. It's one way. They definitely move. I can see some different little bits in there, but not the ones that I'm looking for. I may have to rethink my uh, organisational skills. Uh, let's get the other bits out, because then there's less bits to look through. That, that sounds like a plan. Alright, I'll move that over to one side, so we don't need that anymore. And I shall go looking for, what do we want, a six by two in white, like that. Um, and another one of them for over this side. I need another white corner. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, this probably isn't gonna be so much of the counting as I thought there was gonna be, because I don't know the bits that I need until I find them. There's another corner next to that as well. So it looks like those two corners and that one. Another corner. Oh, another corner. And what's that bit? I can't tell what that bit is. Let me get a couple more corners. Because I'm definitely going to need them. And the same for that one. I know getting the corners out isn't exactly helping a great deal. But... I might have to divide these into bags of stuff. Um, so I can actually find some things, because this is, yeah, fun, that's the word I was looking for, great fun, 
Right, let's have a look. I actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna progress as far as getting on the glasses of seeing to try and make out exactly what I need. Right, yeah, so I need one, two, three, four corners, a four by one and a two by one as well. So, of course I can find three by ones. There's a two by one. Another three. All right, so they're no help at all. <laughs> Let's put the glasses of seeing back down there again. It must be in here. They're in here somewhere. So I need one. Was it four of those I decided I needed? Four of those. So there's two, two of those for those ones. Ramaging. There's another one. And another one next to it. Look. One, two, three, four. Right. There's a four. Look, four by one. So I need another four by one and a two as well. There's another four. Yep. And there's a two. Right. So that should be all the parts I need for the top section, which I can't do until I do the bottom section. I'm aware of this. but So it's got that there, then that next to it. And that's there, with that next to it, that's where that comes in, and then that goes down there like that. So that looks like that, so I need another one of those the other side, but the opposite way around. That shouldn't be easy, should it? Shouldn't be easy. Shouldn't be difficult, even. Should be easy, that's the word. That one there, those two there, that one in there. And then that there. And that there. Uh, these are obviously going to break completely when I try and pick them up. At this point, Chris knew he's stuffed up, says so. Yeah, it, well, it's not as much stuffed up, but... Yeah, things aren't progressing quite as smoothly as I thought they might. Um, I do like doing these as a live stream. But... <laughs> I do worry that they're boring. Because most of it's just me rummaging to find things. And then a little bit of putting them together. And when there's a lot of rummaging going on, there's a whole lot of rummaging going on. Uh, that's that, that, that and that. Then I need another two. That's another corner. But do I need another corner? No. I need some more twos. There's one. No, that's a corner. And that's a four. That's not at all what I'm looking for. There's a three. Did I need another three? No. Obviously, I didn't need another three. Well, I did for the other side. And one of those for the other side as well. So I just need a whole bunch of twos. And one problem is, I've got fat fingers. I mean, they're not particularly fat, but they're fatter than they need to be for picking out bits from here. So I might see one. But the act of reaching for it disturbs all the ones around it, and then I can't find it anymore. I can possibly use the edge, like that. Oh, and then it goes. Look, see? There's another two. How many more did I need? I need another three. Six, rather, like that. It goes there. Then there's another two the other side of that. Okay. I'm, I'm approaching understanding how these pits work. Look, there's two more twos there. I need both of them. So for that side, there's that, that, and that. There's that. There's another three somewhere there. Up the front of there. Uh, one more two. And then the other bits that I've not even spotted yet. Okay, so that's the two poor type areas without those bits on the top. I don't remember seeing any round bits at all, but that just means that they're well camouflaged. What I'm going to do is put these bits on here and then the top bit on that, so then I've not got lots of loose bits all over the place. That's my theory anyway. So that's... this is on camera, isn't it? Yeah. That's that corner piece. So the three goes next to that. Then that, 
Then that, that, and that, with that there. Offset to that, so not quite like that. It's going off there a little bit like that. Like that? No, it's only one off there. What? It's definitely like that. I know I'm looking at the wrong side, but I was sort of reversing it in my head. So that's like that. I got that bit. And then. Nothing on there. The two is next to that one there. Now there's the other two down there that I sort of neglected. I've got another two missing from this one then. I have. There's another two I need. So let's grab that one from there. That one goes there. Okay, so that is how that base layer goes together, apart from the four around the front, which I haven't found yet. So, this on top. That bit goes on to there. And on top of the blob that I haven't got yet. The second one of that goes on to the third one of that. So that's, that's going all the way to the back. So that should hold a lot of it together. Like that. That's still there-ish. Okay, so this is third up from that there. I'm sure that this is absolutely stunning viewing for you lot. I, I hope you're enjoying yourselves in the chat. Because I don't see how you can be enjoying yourselves in the just sitting watching the video. Where was that bit? That next to that. That's next to that. On back from that. Can't be there then. What? Oh not boring at all, extremely relaxing, says so. I don't know about that. Yeah. Right. I don't understand how that is like that. That was on there, that's that's there, yes. And that is there. Yes. And next to that is that bit. Yes. And next to that is that bit. So that isn't where I thought that was. Because that's got to be there. And that one is next to that one there. So that's like that. So the four put the toes go around the front there. I understand that now. That makes sense to be like that. Okay, I understand that bit. He said, looking like people might have understood that he understood what was going on. So let's try building this from the bottom up. Why is that different to that side already? Because that's there. That's there, next to where there isn't a bit. Ooh. Okay. So let's go from here then. That that goes on there, from there. Right. Then, that three is there. Might be easier to build it upside down. That one's there. That one comes off of there like that. So that's all I can build from the bottom. So let's go from the top. From the front of that, we've got the four going across that way. There's the two that goes there. That one that goes there. And at the very front of this is both of these. Ah, no, I can't do that one because that's overhanging nothing again so let's go back down to the bottom bottom layer I've got the two that goes there next to that is a two that goes there I think I've got these top ones in the wrong slightly wrong orientation uh, three six two yeah that's got to be the other side of that not not there it comes off the other side of that there and no not even there a bit further across than that <sighs> Chris is doing a live stream yeah just a little one occasionally I know it's been a while since I did one but you know you've got to make the most of it while the time is here
Uh, so that's got that three coming out there. Then that one comes across from there. Behind that one is a two. Hopefully, soon, this will become just a building one layer at a time. Not trying to build two layers that sort of inter interact with each other, but don't. So that one goes that side, and the two's on the inside and the outside. I, I missed the two, and I, I, I stole one from this. And didn't recover it. I should have recovered my two before I started doing more. Oh, come on. Right, so there's a two on the other side of that there as well. So that is all of the lower level, I think. If I get it the right way around now. That's that, that, yes, that's all that lower level. So then we can just work on the top. So the four goes across there. And those two come off the front there. That's easy. There we go. I say it's all of the lower level. It isn't. It's all of the lower level apart from the eight bits that I haven't found. Which I'm going to have to find now. Because that's the, the next section to do. So, yeah. Uh, Ghost Rider is here. It's a bit of a bugger. It is indeed. Yeah. Eric says, this is why I don't do Lego or any variant. Normal Lego is no problem at all. It's, it's fun. It's easy. Uh, the technique that I'm doing on Friday is great fun. Um, it's just this being so many pieces and so very small. I found a black one. Look, there's, there's a stuck to your fingers. A round black one. I think that's probably what that is. I can't make out the difference on there. But as soon as it's the first one that I've found that's that shape, I'm going to go with it. Because there's another one there, look. And it makes sense that the, the nail pieces would be black rather than grey. I did see another one, but it just got covered up by all the other pieces. There it is. There's three. When I've got another one, I'll put them on one side and we'll see how it looks, if it seems to be working. There's one. I've even got it. I don't have the patience to rummage. <laughs> Rummaging is the fun bit. Oh, that's coming apart. Push that back together. The trouble is there's only a couple of brick parts holding some of this together until the next layer goes on the top. Yes, so there we go. We've got some like claws. So that makes sense to me. That works as a, a part. So let's find four more of those round black ones. There's one. Uh, we don't know, of course, how many of these pieces are going to be left over. Uh, traditionally, in these nano kits, I'm sure you can still hear me all right with them while I'm rummaging, um, there are quite a lot. Uh, but this is a manufacturer that I haven't used, so uh, I don't know. That's, that's square, that one. That's not. That's not a claw. Um, yeah, manufacturer I haven't used before, so they may be more precise in their ordering of pieces. As I say, they're, they're less precise in their use of the English language, but as a second language to them. I've done much better than I would do if I tried to write in any other language at all. So props to them for that. I saw one. I saw one down there. Oh look, there's, there's a Lego with flash. That's impressive. I got distracted from the bit that I'd found, but I still found it. Two, two more to go. Right. I don't know how you can say you haven't got the patience to rummage. Rummaging is the best bit. It, it teaches spatial awareness, uh, observation skills, uh, memory, uh, 
looking at things under pressure because I've got you know uh, a, a dozen people. I was going to say dozens, but there's only there's one dozen. There's, there's 13 people watching me rummage through Lego. There's the last one. There we go. Look. Who'd have thought that 13 people would spend their Tuesday afternoon watching me rummage through a plastic pot for bits of Lego? It astounds me. It really does. I, I love you, every one of you. But it's just, yeah. I know you're not here for me. You're here for the chat and talking to each other. Well, Sal's here for me because he finds it relaxing for some reason. But, yeah. Yeah. That's that one, and the last one of that stage is there. Right, so he's got claws, and that looks like that. You could sort of see that it might be a dog, maybe, vaguely, a little bit, possibly. It's group effort, says Raging Modeler. About what, what, what we're doing now, what? Nothing happening in the chat, I was gonna say, when we have nothing else better to do. Well, this is also true, yeah. Uh, right, there we go. Now, that looks like the end of the multiple layers, except for this one, which for some reason they say you've got to do that first as well. But um, Let's see if I can find a two. I bet I haven't got a two out in this tray. Lots of corners. See, I remember if I ever need any grey corners, they're in this tray. No, no twos. No twos. Let's find a grey two. There it is. There's one. Right, so it says that goes under there. It, I can't quite make out. It seems to be the second one in. So that looks like that bit, which is that bit. So then I need a collection of pieces, which I can't easily tell what pieces they are from the picture, because... That would be too easy, making it, you know, saying you need this, 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 and this. It does need a three. There's a four there. There's a single three. So there's another four over that side. Oh, I still need some threes. That's not a three. That's a six, which I do need as well, no doubt. Yeah, over there as well. So what I'm doing is putting them in vaguely the same positions as they are on the page, although you can't really tell from here. Yeah. Uh, are there any bigger ones? No. But there are several of the smaller ones. So, oh, that's a pink one. Don't do a pink one yet. There's another four. There's another four. I'm sure, there's going to be a couple of them. There's one going back that way. Back there, somewhere around there ish. Like that. So, I still need two, two threes. Do I need any corners? I'm bound to need some corners. Look, there's a corner there. There's a three. There's another three. So we've got threes like that. Fours. And there's a corner. Two, three, square four. Nice to get them in use. Around there ish. Uh, what did I have over here? Oh, look, there's a special two to one. Look. There's a square four. Any more of them? No, yes. Okay, let's get rid of that bit. I'm going to do the white bits first, probably. Yeah, let's get a few more of the bits out that I know I'm going to need. Like the threes. Probably some of them. Probably some of them. Probably another one of them. Maybe that, maybe that, maybe that, 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 that. Just potential pieces that I might need. And then I can put them back when I don't. <laughs> That's not the corner there. Right, I'm looking for some twos. The trouble with twos is they look a lot like corners from one side. Well, when I say a lot like, they're exactly like corners from one side, because they are. There's one. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I chased it and found the wrong one. 
Come on, you know you want to come out. There you go, look, there's a, there's a small gathering of them. There's three of them gathered there all together. That one, let's put them over there. I'll get a couple more of them out while I see them. More of that. Another three, that's going to come in useful soon, no doubt. Another two there, look. look. Uh, so what, what have you done for lunch or anything like that? Have you have you had lunch yet? Or food, dinner, breakfast? Wherever you are in the world, what was your last meal? Not not your last meal, because that's creepy. What was the last thing that you put in your... No, wait, I won't do that one either. Um, what, what did you have for your last food? Uh, I had some tomato soup. I like some tomato soup on occasion, so I, I had tomato soup today. With some bread, dip some bread in it, and then just add the tomato soup. So what about you, like? What did you have for your last meal? Not, not your last. You know what I mean. Assuming you're still there and listening. If you're not, then let me know. If you're not, if you're not there, let me know, because I'll um, just continue without talking. Right, let's build from this corner. So I've got those three there. There's a two there. A three, which I've already got. Across there, yes, that looks like there. Right, then we've got the four there with another two next to it there, which is there. Then I've got the four going across, offset by one, with a three behind it, about there. Okay, so coming across the front of that, from there is that, so there must be, that's not a two, that's a corner. See, look, not that one, that bit there is a corner in there. So it looks a bit like that. You can't see it. I know it's terrible. Uh, that says vegetable soup with white bread. Yes, it's correct except for the well, vegetable tomato soup is technically a vegetable. So yeah. Eric, Eric says breaking news: man cuts finger while rummaging through bucket of Lego. I don't think so. I think Lego is fairly. I mean, you wouldn't want to tread on it, but hands can put up with it. Okay. Uh, sour head stir fry for dinner. Oh. Interesting. I like a nice stir fry sometimes. What what was the stir fry? What was the meat? What was the sauce? How did it taste? Uh, right, I'm going to start building this on top of that because I can. I think that hasn't fallen off or anything there. No, that was from there. All right. So it looks like it's on this corner. So let's put that in the middle and build up from around the outside of that. It should have been making this more stable, more sturdy. Each bit that goes on now. So what happens next? That's that. The three goes behind it there. Uh, I've got that three. So there's that two that goes across the back there. Yep. And then that corner piece. It goes around the corner. It's working. It seems to be coming together. That four goes there. And there's one empty space there. There is. That goes there. The three behind it. Off to one side slightly. Because that's the shape of it. Then that goes on there. Okay, yeah, it's coming together. Look, look, it's coming together. Uh, then we've got that goes there. Uh, three of those actually. So one, two, three of those. Uh, on live TV, says Eric. Oh, right, yes, that's where, I, if I, yeah, but I didn't. Yeah. I think it's unlikely. I won't say it's impossible, but it, it's unlikely. Right, so that one there. The four, no, not a four behind it. There's the corner. Goes around that corner. And there's a two in front of that. 
and then rummage into the ones that I got out without knowing that I was really going to need them. That one goes there. I need another four. Oh, there's one. That might be the last one that I need. That one there with a three next to it the other side. Another three filling in that gap there. Then we've got that four goes there. Then there is another eight. That goes across there. Yep. With a three behind it. Oh, I haven't got enough threes out. I've got too many fours, not enough threes. There's one. Three behind it there. Uh, that's that. That's all the white bits. Cool. That was easier than I thought it was. I feared it was going to be. Uh, I've got to do another white chunk there, so I'll leave those to one side and come back to that in a minute. Uh, Sal hasn't got back to me about what stir fry had yet. So let's carry on with these. Right. So for these, I need twos, a six. I think I've got any twos in here again, have I? No, I already looked for them last time. Right. How does that work? The two goes right from there. The six goes from there. The problem I find with doing it this way in the finding the bits to put onto the model rather than the more traditional Lego way of these are the bits you'll need for this next stage is it's much easier to miss bits out, out doing it this way because if you just don't see something on the instruction manual being built then you just don't do it. It's it's as easy as that. If you miss out a little corner piece, then that little corner piece is missed out forever more. Um, so yeah, it's not nearly as good, I find, as doing it the other way. What I'm doing now is getting out some pieces. Uh, I know I need several of the twos, the little two by ones. So I'm grabbing those whenever I find them. And also pulling out a few of the other bits that are likely to be used as well and almost certainly get out the wrong ones and not enough of the ones that I do need and too many of the ones that I don't need and yeah but uh, the point is there's going to be some there's a couple one of the big bits but I don't know how big a bit I'll count you up in a minute I'll get a couple of the big bits out get more of those a couple of those Right, that might be enough to go go on with. So starting here, I've got a two that goes in the corner there. Got that three. There is a corner piece that goes around the edge of that. There. There's another corner piece that goes uh, on the corner of that corner piece like that. There's a four that goes down next to that. Then comes that magic piece that's got the bit sticking out the bottom of it. Which yet yeah, looks like it does line up there. Uh, it looks to be one of that length that fits in there, so not that one. And that's that half done. So I can just duplicate that half on the other half. And we'll be, f we'll be finished. Not finished, but you know. Finished with this bit. There's that. I need that three is there. Corner pieces, I didn't get enough corner pieces out, but I've got loads of them in here. Let's grab a few of those. So that one goes around that corner, and that one goes there. And is that it? Does that look like that? It's an edge piece with one gap in the middle and a big gap across the front here. So yeah, that looks like that. Okay, I'll leave those over there as well. Don't forget the like button, everyone says Nat. Thank you very much, yes. Uh, pork unknown sauce as family made it. Pork with unknown sauce sounds delicious. Right, so that's that bit. Okay, now continuing to the next level, stage five. Uh, we need, let's start with the white bits again, because that seemed to work quite well. I'll do the white bits that I've got until I run out of ones that I need, and then I'll go rummaging for other bits. That one there, there's a three next to it, 
which obviously I haven't got. So I'll go rummaging for other bits. <laughs> There's a three. I'll, I'll, carry, I'll carry on. The three next to it is like that. Then there's a six in that corner piece. Oh, a one. I haven't got any ones out. I know that for sure, but I'll find that in a minute. A three goes along there. Then a corner piece, uh, which goes that way round across the middle of those. Okay, then there's a four that goes across from the middle of that. Uh, yeah, that was that. Another corner piece underneath those two of that. Now a lot of this is overhanging, which is quite nice. It's quite a good way of getting the three-dimensional bit in it. That was that. So yeah, that's that half. Then there's a, a four and eight like that in the middle. And that's the middle. So that brings us to the other half, which we can do exactly the same again. Um, well, I can't because I've got bits missing, so I need to find the ones. So I needed a four, didn't I? There was a four, was that there? Yes. Uh, more corner pieces. Grab a couple of those out. Let's continue around with that then. So there's one corner piece there like that. Then the six was going backwards from that. Now the six was going across from there. Another corner piece there. Uh, th three? Three. I haven't got three. Uh, can I see a three? No. I see a three, but it's a four. I can only see three of it. There's a three. Which was across there. So they now look the same. Except for that bit. Need another corner piece. Go on the front there, right? So that's those not necessary. I do still need uh, one, two, no, not two. There's a two that's there. There's a single one on either side by the looks of it. Is that it? That's really thought with the one there that goes around there. Yeah, just the one, two ones, and the ones would definitely be at the bottom. White ones, there's one. There's three, two of them, right next to each other. How convenient is that? So they go just on there. These are the smallest pieces ever. They say it's nano, but they certainly are. They will live up to their name. Uh, would it make it easier to cross off the blocks that you've built on your instructions? Possibly, but it's always tricky because I might not be certain that I've done one bit and where it's only one tiny piece it's harder to do I find it easier to work round in a, a shape so I know I've done all the white bits now so then it's just a case of going through the next angle the next shape piece and fitting it in as I go around so some bits I can remember like I haven't done the, the ones but the rest of it is not too difficult to work from you know around the shape so there's that then there's another corner uh, which goes around the corner of it then there's a four that joins up to that one bit on that corner not there next next one along to there All right which goes up to that hole which is right there so then there's a three it goes across to the middle. Another one of those across the back. And then two more corners overhanging again. Coming out there like that and out there like that. So that's that side okay. I just need to do the same this side. I didn't use any twos or fours, so I don't need any of those. I will need one of them, a couple of corners. Uh, what else did I need? A three and a four. There's a three. Do you have any fours in here? I don't remember. Don't see any. See some threes. Another three, another three, another three. No fours. Let's have a look in here for a four then. I don't know how many different 
um, num different bits there are, if you know what I mean. Is there like a dozen, two dozen different shapes and formats? I don't really know. So that's that. Then there's the four. Then there's a corner, which goes like that. And that corner goes around that block. And that one goes around there. So yes, there's one more stage. Now this is obviously going to be a hollow model. So uh, it's going to be not as substantial as some of the others. Uh, Sal watched the uh, 1935 musical comedy last night starring Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers called Roberta. I'm aware of the people. I've seen a few of their films and musicals, but I don't know that one. Uh, did you enjoy it? That's the most important question. Uh, Shane says, did Lewis, Connor and Paige enjoy their live stream? We thought it was brilliant. We did indeed. Silly daddy. Um, yes, it was It was uh, a, a worthy live stream. But certainly a worthy first live stream, but a worthy live stream for anybody, I think that was. It was good fun. Um, awaiting the next one. We think it's only fair that, because um, Lewis has done one, so Nat now needs to teach diamond dotting to the, the children. And I'm sure it will turn out perfectly. What, what's the worst that could happen? Right. So that was that. So now we're down here on page on six. I think I'll do six and seven and then call it a night. We'll just do a page. <laughs> um, whether I rearrange things to make it easier next time, I probably won't. I'll probably think about it and then not do it. So, uh, yeah. Don't, don't expect it any different next time. Uh, now, as to when next time is going to be, it is very dependent on the UK lockdown situation. Um, my initial plan, as it stands at the moment, uh, is to not do the streaming on a Tuesday next week um, because I'm going to be back at work so I'll have less time anyway um, and there are other things that everyone can be off doing rather than you know sitting here and watch me do this sort of stuff uh, so I'm planning at the moment hopefully it will work we'll see it might work it, stranger things have happened uh, there is always the possibility of things working. My intention at the moment is to get this in the right place. Yes, I've got that in the right place. Right. Uh, is to, on tomorrow, uh, is Wooden Wednesday. So tomorrow I shall be starting the new build that I have of the... Is that? That is a three, yep. Uh, of the Wooden Mono Wheel, uh, the U-Gears kit. Uh, at uh, 12 o'clock midday for that so hopefully you'll come along and watch that with me or well you'll watch it I'll be doing it so you know you'll be watching it with me but not really with me if you know what I mean sort of sort of with me but without me but I'll be there so it is with me really um, so yes that should be that uh, and then, it's right, I'm trying to think and do things at the same time. I'm not used to it. The whole thinking things is, is all new to me. Uh, that's further forward than that. That's there. That's that. And there's two of those that go on the back, back there again. Uh, right, yes. So tomorrow is Wooden Wednesday. So I shall be doing the U-Gears uh, mono wheel that I haven't actually started yet. So you can get in at the beginning with a new build for me. From me. With me. At me, towards me. Um, so hopefully you'll join me for that. Need lots of threes. Uh, then Thursday is an evening with time, so that's later in the evening, as it always has been, because it'd be silly to do an evening with at lunchtime, because it wouldn't work at all. It would confuse far too many people, myself included. So that shall be. Forever evening time. It's not there. That doesn't look right. Why does that not look right? Got the three. The three. 
Oh, it's just one missing, it should just be a little bit higher than that. Ah, it exploded at me. There it is, didn't escape far. It's all, it's all safe, it landed in me folds. It's all good. Uh, so yes, um, Thursday, an evening with. Hopefully you'll join me and some of the gang. We'll be coming along for your entertainment. Just hanging around and chatting as we do on that stream. Uh, Friday is the big day. Uh, that's Lego Friday when I'm doing the extreme off-roader 4x4. Too much brandy, says it. I think not enough might be an idea, but... Friday's the big day. I shall come back and give you more details about Friday when I've had a look at the chat. Uh, Sal says, yes, I enjoyed it. I loved it. I see musicals in real life until the virus stopped it, so he's making up for it. Good. And then you've got it. You can watch it back and sing along. And You can't sing along when you're watching it live because people get cross. Uh, Nat is toying with ideas for a live stream, but definitely not as brave as Lewis to do my first one with the kids. But it's fun. You should. It's great. Why not? Go on. You know you want to. It's all good, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Uh, right. Let's get the white bits ready for this last part of the build. I need a two, a four, an eight, a two, and a four. So I need the eight. That looks like all the white bits, so I'll put those back away. So this is going from the middle. Let's start in the middle. Uh, overhanging, there. Then those on there. And those on there. Fine, fair enough, good, cool. Right, uh, yes, uh, no don't Nat, says Trucker. He, he just wants to get his kids' views in, so he, he knows he knows it'll be successful. So he doesn't want you to share in his success. Uh, that's that one. The corner next to it, then another four. It's overhanging there, is that right? What do we think? That's right there. That was out further than that. So yeah, that is right. Okay, yeah, oh, it is overhanging. I can see it just down there. Right, that's that four. Another corner. Uh, on that corner there, where it's pretty much got to be. Then another corner, then a two. I've got another corner. Like that. Yes. And then a two behind it. Like that. And then a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a ten. A one by ten. Is it that one? Four. Five is about halfway, so yes, that's there. That's gonna go across the back. I like that. Long bit to hold it nicely together in the middle. That's good. Right. Uh then across the back bit we've got the eight. Then another two in the middle. Then another eight. I've got to find another one of them. There we are. There's a couple stuck together. And then a four on the back. Because that's the tail sort of coming out, shaped nicely across there. Uh, right, then along the other side again. So, more fours. We've got the four next to that two corner that way round no not that way round that way round like that another four overhanging like that and another corner bringing it back in another corner There, and then a two. Uh, didn't have any twos in there, did I? It was all, all from in here. Rummaging, rummaging, rummaging for a two. I need number two. There, there's one. I'll grab it out with my fingers. I can't find it, it's lost. It's gone again, there it is. Found it. So that's that there. And that's the end of stage seven. So I'm gonna pop those back in there. I'll put that on top of there. Actually, we'll have a look at it first. Uh, right, that's rubbish. 
so far today it's not a bad start i'm quite happy with that as a, as a start go uh it's got some shape to it you can see it's starting to come together some of those bits are sort of popping up which i'm sure they'll sort themselves out when other parts build on top um, I'll put that in a bag and I'll put that in the box with them as well. So yes, that's come along quite well. Uh, Nat says, I like the idea of Connor and Paige being emerald builders, uh, but not the idea of losing more kitchen tables and modelling. <laughs> I think you need to convert a room into the modelling room. Now you're all, all four of you are modellers. Uh, let me pop back to full screen. Uh, right. Yes, uh, Lewis says, I'm only saying it's true because I'm 200 miles away. Yeah, okay, right. Uh, yes, so, uh, Sal says, it was an impressive dance number with Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers that went over three minutes in one shot, no cutaway. Yes, they used to know how to do stuff in one shot because it was easier to film one and then not have to cut away. Uh, it's like when I do my X-Wing and Terminator builds, I try and do it all in one shot because... I'm that talented and lazy and it's less editing. Although it is more editing now because I've started putting a little picture in picture of the uh, instruction manual in the corner. So have a look at the Terminator build. Let me know if you'd like that, if that works for you. If it doesn't, I'll stop doing it. If it does, I'll try and figure out how to do it neater and nicer. But have a look at that. The first of the Terminator build videos is up now. Uh, the X-Ring ones, I didn't do it on, but they're all available now as well. So go and watch all of those. That was all my deliveries for the month. So. You've got a while to watch them before the next lot come along. Now, as I was saying, Friday. <clears throat> this coming Friday, uh, I shall be doing my Lego Friday. Uh, I think I'm going to move it from 2 o'clock back a bit to 1 o'clock. So I shall be starting at 1 o'clock. And I think I'm going to try and finish the the whole thing, the uh, the 4x4 off-roader thing. Um, my intention is to get that finished and done. Because that's the end of lockdown, and that's the end of this, that sort of this this time of my life, this stage of the lockdown live streams, um, and then the Friday after, I'll continue. I'll probably come back and do some of this nano, and I'll intersperse doing Lego and nano and things as long as kits hold out, and you know as long as the stuff keeps coming, then I'll keep doing it like that. But I'm not going to be doing the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and well the Monday emails Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And Sunday. So, yeah, six days a week of streaming is fine while I'm not doing anything. But while I'm back at work, it's a bit too much. So I shall be cutting back the Tuesdays to nothing. Uh, the Wednesdays I'll still be continuing. Uh, the Thursdays, I am again, might go back to bi-weekly on those. I'll, I'll figure that out as the time goes by. At the moment, it's still weekly, but yeah. And Friday will be a combination of Lego and Nano, I say, as long as the kits hold out. But I think I'll finish that this week so friday might be a longer than normal stream a longer than my normal 90 minutes which this one's almost been um to get that done and finished and try it and then i can put a video of it actually being driven around but i can't do that on a live stream obviously because it's not enough room on the bench to drive it around very far so that's my intention uh, have you finished says trucker i've finished that bit i'm not going to finish all of this because that was one page of instructions uh, and there are many many more pages of instructions uh, in theory, they get easier. The first few are more difficult because you're obviously building them into two layers at once and things. Uh, the next lot is all just layer and layer and layer and layer, which is easier to build. And as the part go get less, it's easier to build as well. What is it? He says you'll have to come back in a week or two and find out. It looks a bit like that. So there we go. It, it, it's that. It goes that way up, and it looks like that. So what do you think it might be? I, I showed you at the beginning as well, so you can always go back and watch. Uh, your format of the Terminator builds is great, says Sal. Thank you very much. Is that the new one that you've just seen this morning? Or, you know, whenever it is daytime for you. The one that went live six hours ago. Um, yeah, let me know. Um, Shane says, thank you for the company, everyone. Take care and see you all soon. Absolutely, yes. I'm going to finish now. Uh, but this, I say, won't be next week. Uh, might well be next Friday. If I manage to get the the 4x4 finished this week then that will be Friday and then the week after that won't be finished next week the week after I'll do some Lego and then I'll come back and do some more of this and we'll work through it but yeah there we go it's one of them Star Wars communicator things that they press on their chest and talk yes just like that Lewis well done yeah you know it's got the t-shirt on in, uh, in honour of uh, Fox's questions last night about dinosaurs so yeah 
Um, right, so that's it for me today. Uh, happy Tuesday, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, evening, daytime, morning, wherever you are in the world. Uh, tomorrow, as I say, Wednesday, Wooden Wednesday, the start of the new uh, Mono Wheel from U Gears. Uh, at 12 noon, UK time. Your own time may differ. Uh, and I'll see you then onwards from that. Uh, Thursday will be an evening with. Friday will be the mega live stream long edition, finishing off the Lego thing, probably. Probably two, two and a half hours of that, I should think. So settle in for, you know, have, have, have a big wee before it starts. Get some snacks and drinks ready, and we'll see you for that. Uh, and then onwards as things go by. Uh, as Nat says, thank you, Chris. Bye, everyone, and stay safe. Goodbye, everyone, and stay safe. Uh, wash your hands, and I shall see you soon for more of the same. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.